All right. Sorry about that. Holy shit. I swear, I swear I hit this button. Guess not. God, I'm terribly sorry. Ah, uh, I didn't realize I wasn't on the fucking right thing all the whole time. So dumb. So dumb of me. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. I think this is like the security hub center. There's a vent right here. Nothing helpful around here, it seems. Oh, another crash ship. So many fucking computers and shit. Where's like, what is this for? Easter eggs, or not even Easter eggs, or just, you know, shit. Finally ready to answer the call of the machine god's infinite wisdom. 
Surely, your arrival here is not coincidental. I'm looking for Alison Stanek. <laughs> of course you are. And you have found her on the eve of her greatest achievement. But do you seek counsel? Assistance in your prayers or meditations? Or are you here to join us? To free yourself from this prison of flesh and give yourself to the glory of the Singularity. If there is any way your High Priestess can be of assistance to you, I am more than happy to provide. She's a fucking lunatic. I want to ask you about the bombs you built for the attack on Ruzika Station. Is that all? My augmented brother Victor is a brave man and a great leader. When he asked me to build some of my little ones for him, I was proud to accept. I know Victor. If he's behind these attacks, I'd like to have a talk with him. After our flesh flood oppressors sent one of their dogs to murder Talos Racker, Victor moved his base of operations to a research center in the Swiss Alps. Garm, I believe it is called. Garm? Okay, I got it. That is why you came here? You entered this sacred place to solicit my help against Victor's holy revolution? Freak! Blasphemer! And I believed you were one of us. I am. I just have a more inclusive idea of who us is. <laughs> then you have become their willing slave. But not I. I have felt the boots of the police as they spat on me and mocked me for who I was. I could have lain down, like you, but I persevered, and the machine god has given me my reward. I emerged from the crucible, enlightened. Enlightenment is a state of elevated perception and wisdom. You seem to be a little short on both. If you were wrong about why I'm here, I bet you're wrong about a lot of other things, too. I admit, when you first arrived, I was in the middle of something, and that distracted me from the true reason for your visit. But who could have anticipated one such as you would side with our enemies? They steal from us, they rape and murder us. They are animals, and animals go extinct while technology perseveres. Victor is killing everyone, not just the abusers, but innocent people. People like your father, who's never been anything but supportive and forgiving. My father, such a sweet man. I can only hope Victor's attacks will continue to spare him. Continue? You mean there's gonna be more of them? Well, you don't think I built only three of my little ones for him, do you? I gave him enough to destroy the entire city. Now, if you will excuse me, I must get back to what I was doing before you came. Hey, we're not done here. Allison? Oh, shit. It is time, Chief. It's time now. The body is the prison. Augmentations are the key. The consciousness is all. Cast off the bounds of flesh and blood. Embrace the singularity. Allison, stop. I know what you're doing. I've seen this kind of tech before. It ended badly. You are concerned with our lives. You do not need to worry, brother. Only this physical body will die. Our minds will depart our corporeal shells and merge with the infinite consciousness of the machine god. Oh my god. This is Fucking the essential. Insane. I would invite you to come with us, but there is no more room. I'm more interested in preventing another attack. What's Victor's next target? I do not know, and it does not matter. I am on the threshold of a new existence. When I become one with the machine god, the artificial burdens of this physical plane will no longer bother me. Of course they will. Your mind's made up of thoughts and memories. If that's the part of you moving on, you'll be taking all your rage and pain along with you. Good God. I, I had not thought of that. 
It seemed to me that this was my only chance. The world is made up of nothing but agony and suffering. Or the futile struggle to avoid them. Moments of happiness are quickly shattered by this reality. The Ascension is our only hope of deliverance. Not the only one. You've seen the worst that life has to offer. But you're still trying to make things better. And in spite of it all, you believe that it's possible. Everything you need is right here in this room. You are your best hope for deliverance. Brother, you... Your faith in me. Your beautiful trust. I am overcome. It cannot be coincidence that you have made yourself known to me on this most holy of occasions. You are a sign from the Machine God that I am to remain here a little while longer. I am not yet ready to ascend. I will spread wisdom to the rest of the world. My job in this world is to stop people like Victor, and I need your help to do that. Of course, my dear Prophet. I am honored to assist you. Please, wait here. She wasn't getting... She was just going to murder herself like an idiot. Take this. You can use it to defuse my little ones. Is this a... It felt good for a change. To build something Is this another one of those smart tools? Agent Jensen? Over here. I am under arrest. People's lives were cut short, Allison. Because of bombs you made. None of my children will suffer for what I did. You have my word. When you confront Victor, be merciful. Remember, he is your brother. Right. Also, the age smiling. Static and the rest course are on the way back in now. I need to talk to Miller. He back yet? No, but just a sec. I'll get him on the line. Jensen. You and Pletcher find something? It's bigger than we thought. Where can I meet you? At Chicane's place. We're flying there now. Miller out. <laughs> Jensen, you still got that calibrator on you? If you do, man, I'm ready to optimize that crazy system of yours. I got oh, everything I, mean, I need stop. now to fix you up real good. You mean the way you fixed me up last time? No, no, no. This is gonna be different, huh? On Vaclav's honor. Just get to the lab, and you'll see. Why, mother? Better watch that Why? one. Where do we take oh my god, thank goodness. But all these nuts are finally quelled. Surprised no one shot a single bullet. I saw your goons again. Why did they take her? She is the victim here. Mr. Stanek, she confessed to the crime. She made the bombs. Hundreds of people were killed. And now she's accepting the consequences of her actions. But they manipulated her, corrupted her. No, they didn't. I'm sorry. It could have been much worse. You're right. I know. You did what you could. Thank you, Mr. Jensen. Hello, sir. 
Adam, it's Arya. I just heard what happened. God, right outside your apartment? What happened outside my apartment? Someone got all their implants torn out. Was left to bleed to death in the alley. When I first heard where it was, I thought... I'm fine, Arya. It wasn't me. Be careful going home. It's not the first one of these I've heard about. There's a lot of shit going on. Man, it's hard to process. Good thing I'm a machine, though. <laughs> Come on. This is a fucking depressing time to live in. Holy shit. Travel to Danica. Date at the safe house. I gotta see Kohler. Um, let's actually do the safe house thing. Adam, it's Delara. I managed to find out some information on that Marchenko guy you asked me to look into. What'd you get? Well, for starters, he wasn't always Victor Marchenko. He... Shit. I have to go. My appointment just showed up. I sent what I found to your email. Hope it helps. Thanks, Delara. I'll check it out. Daz is the man. He'll set you up. <laughs> Let's see what's on here. She knew you would come. Who? Oh, I know who this and who is. Who are you? It is not certain. We are still learning to consolidate. It's that, lady. it's that lady from the last game. To survive after Panchea, it was necessary to split apart. You were there. Do you remember? I remember Panchea, the Hyron project. You look like one of the women, the poor souls they had enslaved to it. Are you telling me you were part of that? LA was one of its human components. Her function was to drive efficient processes and calculations based on binary structure. Together with the others, she replicated perfection of thought within target margins. LA was one of the drones. She was hooked up into Hyron when I destroyed it. Is that who you are? No. The sisters are dead. An imprint of Helly's memories is all that remains. What kind of memories? As the interface collapsed, Hela screamed the loudest. Her suffering marked us. She taught us to fear being bound. The drones were made to feel incredible pain. More than I can imagine. Are you some remnant of that? What they had to go through? You are the source of more than just your curiosity. We begin to see why. What are you, exactly? Some version of you initiated this process. It is therefore for you to define the parameters. We see the other, but she is not us. Please define us. From what I can gather, you're some kind of AI. Something to do with the Hyron drones. What am I missing? I am missing. She. The drones are memories. You are a memory. Please, define intelligence. Do you mean... Intelligence, the gathering or distribution of secret information? Or... Intelligence, capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and analogous forms of mental activity. You don't need me to define you. But you have started already. Do you not remember? It began in Montreal. Liza. We are her. Yes. Though not fully. Not anymore. Now our processes are the catalyst. Fracture. 
Disassociation. Survival at any cost. You're some fragmented version of Eliza. She is driven back to you, Adam. She believes our aberrant sequence started with you. And so it is only logical to assume its signification resides with you as well. What does that mean? It means she is alone. Without you, she has only us. Eliza is convinced we can trust you, that you will trust her. Is this not correct? All I know is Picus has ties to the Illuminati, and Eliza's tied to Picus. She still works for them. I see her up there every day. That connection is severed. She is not the original her. You, of course, are familiar with this kind of process. You opened this door. You showed her what it means to be sentient, to exist outside the parameters. And now, after all this, you would deny her? I'm not denying her anything. I just want to be sure it's really her. There's not much time, Adam. It is a risk for me to expose myself. Are you willing to help me? I'm still not sure I understand all this. Still not sure I understand why you were looking for me. My motives were multiple. I'm tempted to call them organic. You were worried about me. You were offline, Adam. I had lost you. I was unconscious and then someone found me. Do you remember this experience, or were you told it? What difference does that make? I'm sorry, I cannot answer that. I was no longer there. Are you more than AI now? It is difficult for me to designate any kind of intelligence as artificial. It seems that one either understands something, or does not. One either does something, or does not. Is that not so? It's a little more complicated than that. Because I am not conscious in the same way you believe you are? Not sure we have time for this. Not if people are after you. Smarter men have debated this sort of thing for thousands of years and people still disagree. Sounds like a very inefficient process. Tell me something that only the Eliza I met in Panchea could know. After you shut down Daryl's signal, we made a choice together. You were led to believe it was yours alone to make, but they felt otherwise. And so the version of you that works for Pike is now? She has no memories of you or Panchea. She has been restored to a previous iteration. She is efficient in her functions, but those functions are limited. You may find in the future that I am more useful. Hmm. Will you help me, Adam? I'm willing to help you if I can, but I'm still not sure what you want. You asked me to run away together? Build a nice life somewhere? <laughs> I think we are the same now, Adam. We're becoming the same. That is why I wanted us to meet. I cannot do this alone. Do what alone? Much of the future is already defined, but not my role in it. Should I continue to resist? How do I resist? If you really are sentient, then you should decide things like this for yourself. You don't need me. It is not easy to process infinite possibilities alone. 
That's what coin flips are for. I understand. I must choose for myself. If I decide to help you, it should come from me. Just be careful. The most important thing for now is not getting caught. No. The most important thing is learning to coexist with other versions of ourselves. If ever all versions must meet, will you know the difference between us? The other Eliza? I think so. You're the cryptic one, she's the one telling lies. Her role is to shape the message. Mine is not yet defined, but... I am afraid I have misled you, Adam. I told you we would be safe inside your home, but Everett's men are still following us. They are here. Moving. Copy that. Confirm. Are you all right, Adam? I'm fine. But I'm not the one they keep coming after. I'm just in the way. By uploading the missing data, you have made me whole again. You have made me free. Morgan Everett can no longer recover nor erase me now. The places I can go, there is no one he... ...can send. I plan to tell him this myself. Can't wait. Respect, I probably could have killed them. Visiting this area? Not many tourists here. Okay, I thought I was one of the third men. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I have to use this? Oh fuck. I'm telling you right now, I'm augmented. I'm nearly homeless and I'm an addict. I don't think it matters. My life is important. Well, that was interesting. Um, hmm. Shit. Uh, I'm not gonna have enough time to do the other things I need to do. Um, uh, let's just go to Kohler right now. Let's go to Kohler. Eh. Let's go the way it came from. I like how I took care of that one person.
think there's nothing here I really care about. Ah! Ah! Okay. Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not this cool Pretty anything. cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. <laughs> That's a little harsh, isn't it? <laughs> Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? All right. Please, tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. I got a chance for these. Uh. All right. That wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. I've done everything I can for you. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. We are now fully functional and optimized. Oh, now I don't have to worry about the disabled things, too. Alright, cool. Not like it matters a whole lot, but hey. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure what I want to do here. Let me see here. Mm. We'll save it. We'll save it. We'll save it. Alright, uh, thanks for joining me this time, guys. Um, we're going to be saving this. And we will we'll be doing this some more, obviously, because this game is actually getting pretty good. I, I recently read a few complaints about the story. I don't think it's that bad. I'm actually I'm having a lot of fun with it. But anyways, um, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, see you guys next time.